So NICMAP Vision is a data and analytics company. We serve the senior housing industry, investors, operators, developers, um, healthcare companies, really anyone who's involved in the business of senior housing real estate or senior housing residents. Uh, we have data and analytics tools to help them uh, make better decisions with more confidence in less time. We started looking for a fractional leader probably six months after the merger closed and we knew we needed help um, because the executive team that was already in seat didn't really have a marketing background, but we believed in what it could do. And so we sought out leaders to help us um, get our feet on you know strong foundation and really build from there. We've had some experience with a fractional sales leader. Uh, and so we, we felt very confident in that model. Uh, and then we sought out um, advice and, and talked to a couple different firms before ultimately landing with Authentic. We picked Authentic as our partner for the really two reasons. The value uh, was there. So it's a, it's a big investment for sure, but we felt that what we were getting in terms of time, the mind share, uh, the skill set and experience of Chris really lined up well with what we needed and what was in budget. Uh, and we just really enjoyed the, the process of kind of meeting the team, um, understanding you know how authentic approaches marketing at large. And uh, then when we met Chris, it just worked. When we first started working with Chris, the main goal, or there was two main goals, uh, develop our existing marketing leader and grow her into uh, an executive talent. And since Chris has come on board, we've been able to promote uh, our director into a VP and she's well on her way to being a CMO of her own uh, later in her career. The second was um, kind of professionalize and standardize the team. Again, I made a comment that we had been outperforming our team size where uh, a team of one was producing like 60% of uh, revenue or uh, influencing 60% of revenue. And since we've scaled out the team, we've been able to grow that to uh, marketing influenced or marketing sourced revenue around 75% of new sales. So we're seeing a return on uh, our work. We know it's a multi-year game. It's, it's marketing is not something that you get paid back on in one week. You got to think about it in years. Um, so we're playing the long game. Chris has turned into a little bit of a, an executive coach and a little bit of a CMO. Um, she joins our executive team meetings, gives an honest, candid uh, perspective. Uh, she's joined in interviews for other executive leaders uh, as kind of a, a neutral perspective and neutral voice. Uh, and when we look at kind of multi-year planning of growing the business, She's asking us questions and kind of challenging perspectives to say like, well, how is your customer gonna to respond to this? Is the brand ready to take that on? And really separating work between, um, separating priorities, I should say, between working on the business work versus working in the business and really getting your foundational stuff correct first before you try and do the fancy stuff. Since bringing Chris on and the authentic team, we have noticed a an increase in MQLs, an increase in social activity. I think a lot of that comes from uh, the strategy that Chris and Authentic have helped us develop and put into place, where we've gone from kind of scrambling and being very reactive to taking a much more proactive approach to everything, whether it's what's on the website what's our social strategy, what's our page strategy. That's trickled down to more demos, more meetings. Uh, and then when you look at the content we're putting out, it just feels like a higher quality. It feels more impressive. Uh, and a lot of our internal leadership has given kudos for the improvements we've been making. We're in a very 
pivotal part of the business right now where we're, we're kind of closing our merger playbook where we've been able to achieve most of the goals that we laid out for ourselves. And so we're opening kind of a new chapter and starting to say, I know what I want to be when I grow up. How do we make the market see us in that light? How do we launch these products and these new initiatives uh, on a strong footing? And so we're in a bit of a planning phase right now to prepare for the next three to five years of the business and marketing and Chris are a big part of that.